Welcome to another interesting video where we are going to connect three different strategies to solve a very important test question. Such questions can be asked in Olympiad or SAT or some high level examinations. You can always join my classes by sending an email on the address given and enjoy the journey of success. Now let's explore the question. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In this video, we have taken up a very interesting question which is based on circle and a square. From examination point of view, like SAT, I will say we are going to discuss a very important strategy today. The question here is, the figure shows a square PQRS of 4 cm square area. Find the radius of the circle if the side SR is tangent and the vertices P and Q lie on the circumference. Four choices are given to us. Here is the diagram. Circle with one side of the square tangent to the circle and the other side vertices P and Q lie on the circumference. We need to find the radius of this circle. Four options are given to you. You can pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. In case you want to learn from me, you can send an email on the address given. Before we get into the solution, let us look into the approach. How do we solve such a question? Well, let me enlarge this diagram and then work on it. So, let's look into the type of solution we could have. So, here is the enlarged version of this particular diagram. What we are really given is that the square area, which is PQRS, area is given to us and area is 4 cm square and therefore the side length is how much? So the sides, which you can say as given here, SR will be equal to 2 cm. So what we could do here is that we could connect the opposite ends of from the center of the circle, right, for example, like this, and we could also even extend it. Well, the circle will be, let us say, the center of the circle is somewhere there. Let's call this center as uh, O. Now, you can realize that this length is two units, right? So, this is two units as this is a part of the circle itself. From O to Q, if I connect, we get the radius R. Now, this radius is also equal to O to, let's say, this point which is tangential to us as T. So, these two sides are R and therefore, how much is uh, from here to there? I mean, this length, let's call this point as M. That will be the midpoint of P and Q. So, this length will be 2 minus R, right? So, 2 minus R is actually the, the length which you are talking about from O to M, right? So, we know that O to M equals to 2 minus R. We have a right angle right there. We can solve this particular triangle. We know M is a midpoint. So, this side is equal to that. So, this has to be one unit long, right? So, we also know that MQ is equal to one unit. And in this right angle triangle, which we are talking about, we can relate the radius with the other two sides, right? So, so from here, we can easily calculate so, we have 1 plus 2 minus R 
whole square should be equal to r squared and from here we can find what r is right so that could be a good strategy to solve this question and then we can have other alternate strategies also uh, so i'll call this as our method 1 and then we can also use trigonometry now look here if i if i connect the point which is t and q and the other end of the diameter with point q we have a triangle in the semicircle right so so we see that we have a triangle which is ntq right so okay so the let me write this triangle as nqt which is 90 degrees at q right so this angle is 90 degrees since uh, this triangle is in semicircle you get the idea now if that is the case in that case we can say that the two triangles which it forms there are actually three right triangles now so let me just just shade uh, the triangles which i'm referring to this particular triangle correct compare that with the with the other triangle right angle triangle which is uh, tqm you can see in this triangle that the angle here let's call this angle as theta if this is theta then the angle on the other side is 90 minus theta right since that is at 90 degrees at q so the big triangle we have theta and 90 minus theta now we also see that in the smaller triangle if that should be equal to theta right so we have 90 90 minus theta this angle is theta that really means that if i consider once uh, let me shade If I consider the triangle MTQ, in that case, you see what I can write this tan theta as. Tan theta can be written as MQ over MT, right? MT is given to us as 2 and MQ is given to us as 1. You see that. We know this angle theta, right? Does that help? now here also we have theta angle so that let me call this as x so the other tan theta which is at q is also equal to x over which is mn let me write mn which is x for us over mq correct so that means both are equal so we can equate them and if we equate them what do we get we get mq over mt equals to mn over mq and that cross multiplication results into a very interesting case and this is mq square equals to mn times mt you see that now that is we say that mq is this perpendicular which is in this case is one right so we derive at a very important result what is the geometric mean do you see that so mq is the geometric mean of the smaller sides another very important concept which we can use to answer this question you get the idea so we could have many different approaches we can also look for a third approach which i'll call similar triangle approach since we see that these two right triangles are also similar right so which is let me write down we, we also have the triangle nmq 
is similar to the triangle, which is the QT, QMT. So that could be another approach. So there are a couple of approaches to solve this very beautiful question. So as I discussed, let's see the solution using the first approach. So in our first approach, we are saying that draw a line right in the center connecting the tangential point to the midpoint on the other opposite side. In that case, PQ is divided into two equal parts and therefore, M to Q will be one unit. If O is the center, then OQ and OT will be R, the radius of this particular circle. Since M to T is two units, O to M will be two minus R. And we can now work in this right angle triangle, apply the Pythagorean theorem and find the value of R. That is what we've done here, right? So let R be the radius, then P to M is going to be 2 minus R. Then let me write, not P to M, M to O, O to M. O to M, we're talking about this distance. O to M, which is this distance, will be 2 minus R as shown. So now in this triangle, 2 minus R square plus 1 square should be equal to R square. That is what the Pythagorean theorem is, relating the three sides. Expanding 2 minus R whole square, we get 4 minus 4R four plus R square plus 1 square, which is 1, equals to R square. And now, R square, R square cancel. And we can combine 1 with 4 to get 5. 5 minus 4R is 0, and the radius is 5 over 4. 5 over 4 is basically 1.25, right? 1, then we get 2, 5. So, option C is the right option for this particular question. Do you see how Beautifully, this has been solved. Now, we can also look into the other strategy which we were talking about, and that is connecting over the other end on the circle, we get the diameter. So, working with the diameter and the triangle NQT, right? So, we have a right angle triangle in this particular case. We know this angle is equal to the smaller angle there. And we also know that these two angles are equal, right? So, this angle and this angle. Right? So, uh, <coughs> theta minus, uh, I mean, that angle. So, we can say 90 degrees, that will make the case better. Okay. So, from here, we can say that tan of the angle OTQ which is theta is equal to 1 over which is MQ over MT. MQ is 1 for us, and M to T is given to us as 2, correct? Now, if you look into that smaller triangle, which is, let me shade that triangle now. Here also, the angle NQM is actually congruent to angle OTQ, right? And we know that tan of NQM 
is equal to the opposite side, which we don't know. Let's say this is x, right? Well, let's say this is x. In that case, it is x over 1, which is m cube. So, so from here, from equation 1 and 2, what do we get? We get a very important relation that x is equal to half. So, this length is half for us. So, now, what is the total diameter? We can see total diameter is equal to, let me write x only, we'll write separately. So, the total diameter t to n is x plus 2, which is half plus 2, which is equal to 5 by 2, right? And the radius is half of that, correct? Radius is half of this. And therefore, radius r is equal to half of 5 by 2. And that gives you 5 by 4. So, using trigonometry, we have done this. We will also use uh, similar triangles to do the same thing. So, now here, we will have the approach for similar triangles. We see that the two triangles, let me shade them. This one and the other one being So, we know that these two triangles, which is triangle NMQ, is similar to triangle QMT. Since we know this angle theta is equal to that angle theta, and then we have 90 degrees right there, correct? Now, since they are similar triangles, we can say that uh, the two sides, x over mq, which is 1 in this case, is equal to mq over mt. And cross multiplying, mt is, you know, equal to 2 given to us, right? Which is, mq is also given to us as 1. So, mq is 1 and mt is 2. So, we get the same value, right? mq is given to us as 1. So, x is equal to 1 times half which is half. So, we got the same result, right? And therefore, the radius will be equal to half of x plus 2, which is half of half plus 2, which is 5 by 4. You get the idea. So, we have shown this in three different ways. And we know 5 by 2, 4, which is C, is the right option. So, I hope the steps are absolutely clear, right? So, that is how we could solve this. The three strategies discussed will help you in solving many related questions. Depending on their context, you can apply any strategy. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comments, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my video, that'd be great. You can always send an email to learn more from me, the address given here. Thanks for your time and all the best.